My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here once again for another episode of Civilization VI. We are playing as Canada, and we are going for a culture or diplomatic victory. I'd prefer culture, uh, just because I've never done that before. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how things play out. We are entering into the medieval era, which means we have the opportunity right now uh, to make a dedication. We are in a normal age, and we pretty much have the same... Uh, the same choices as we did before. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll continue with monumentality, uh, which is gain plus one error score each time you construct a new specialty district. And theoretically, I've started to lay out some some pins here. Uh, so we're going to have uh, potentially two cities here. Um, and I'd like to put another one up here in this area. I've got a pin here for a uh, a national park. So I think... Uh, having a national park right here, so probably a city, I don't know, near n near the river, I would I would imagine would probably be beneficial, maybe on this side. Uh, so yeah, those are our pretty much our goals. Looking at the world rankings, though, we have a lot of catch up to do. So uh, we are currently not producing any tourism at this point, uh, even though we do have I think two world wonders. Uh, so we're gonna need we're gonna need to bump that up uh, quite a bit quite a bit as we as we progress through this era and we do have the opportunity to promote our uh, secret society so let's go ahead and do that and that's going to allow us to construct the gilded vault building which is a uh, a replacement for the bank we also have one governor title available so i kind of want to go towards uh grants uh so promoting pingala because that'll give us a hundred percent more great people points uh, generated per turn however i think i'm gonna hold off for now just in case uh we do want to place victor or even reign us somewhere uh here very soon and speaking of governors um we currently have bengala over here uh in saint john but our theater square currently is in this district so i think what i want to do is i want to reassign bengala to ottawa and then we'll move Magnus over to St. John. Uh, we do have a barb camp over here that we probably should work towards clearing out. So I'll be moving some troops over there very soon. And then I think I'm going to send one of our galleys down just to explore around South America to see what else is going on around here. Hopefully we can we can loop around and get to this side of, of the world just because I want to make sure we've got eyes uh, everywhere. So I've got one galley that I'm going to bring over here just to make sure that we know what's going on over here at all times. And of course, as we start any new era, we will be going into World Congress. Uh, so we're what we're going to be voting for is uh, double points towards great people of this class. I, I went with great scientist. This is a crapshoot. Who knows? Who knows what the AI is going to choose? Uh, as far as mercenary companies, I'm going to go with 50% uh, less production for military units. I've already got uh, two votes down here, so probably probably the route that they'll go. We'll see. All right, great profit. Great profit was the choice and production. So we at least earned, uh, we at least earned one one diplomatic point there. All right, so we've got our first builder ready to go, uh, and we can now construct the uh, the fisheries, which will definitely help this city grow. Special session of Congress. Uh, Pedro needs an aid request. We'll go ahead and vote that up. And uh, yeah, that'll be a nice, a nice uh, source of of income. Uh, as far as it's just us, awesome. <laughs> so we we definitely will win. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and send some aid and uh, get the two two diplomatic victory points. Easy peasy. So for now, we'll go ahead and send a gift of one gold to Pedro. That'll get us up on the board. All right, as far as tech tree, I think we're going to go towards uh, Celestial Navigation just because that will unlock the harbor. And uh, we should have two cities that could definitely take advantage of the harbor. Uh, so Kingston and whatever we settle down here. All right, so we are moving some troops around. 
and uh yeah i think we'll go ahead uh we'll go ahead and fortify and then yeah we are very close to the barb camp i think we actually have to loop around here to 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 get to it but we'll see we got a great person though a great writer we'll go ahead and recruit fantastic so now we have two riders and uh currently nowhere to put them uh, amphitheater is in the queue though it'll be coming up next and that should give us a few slots all right this crossbowman is doing a lot of damage so i think we'll bring the bring our archer back to uh upgrade probably send our swordsman out though swordsman should should do the work for us and actually we will need to go into machinery to get that crossbowman so uh, yeah, that, that'll take some time. And we're going to make a deal with Pedro just so we can we can go through his territory. Uh, he wouldn't accept the open border, open border outright, so we sent him a horse. <laughs> he seemed to be okay with the horse. But that'll mean our galley can go ahead and move through his territory and help us open this all up. All right, we met a new city-state, Buenos Aires. Okay, really not much to it. I'm not sure if we if we want to dedicate points to it. I mean, uh, it'll definitely help with production. Um, their unique bonus is uh, our, our bonus resources behave like luxury resources. So having the amenity, I guess, I guess is pretty good. Uh, it'll be a while uh, before we get a, a, um, a workshop going. As far as St. John, we're going to go ahead and queue up a monument and uh, a few settlers just to get them out of the way. We probably should also set up a water mill too. Okay, an unmet player has been defeated. So yeah, we are now down to seven. Crazy. But there's no there's no capitals captured uh, listed here. But who knows? Who knows what's going on? All right, so we've just discovered feudalism. Very good. Uh, I think we should definitely put in serfdom. So newly trained builders gain an extra two build action. So I think that takes us to five. All right. So we're going to go ahead and place down some tax because I think I definitely want a industrial zone here. Uh, that'll get some adjacency from this iron mine uh, plus this guy right here. Uh, we also have a, a potential for a plus two commercial hub. Not as interested in that right now. However, we can get a plus four harbor right here. And if we've got the industrial zone, we're, we're next to a city center. Uh, we're also next to uh, the government plaza. So this is probably going to be a, a, a very, very good spot. So let's go ahead and take it now. All right. And we're also going to queue up a theater square festival. Uh, just so just so we can get some extra culture going. So Leventa does have a unique bonus that uh, I'm actually interested in the colossal head improvements that will provide uh that will provide tourism once uh once once flight is is discovered so to give us faith uh which we don't necessarily need i guess but um yeah it will provide some tourism which is always good so i think we're gonna go ahead and gain suzerainship uh, probably won't be for too long just because it looks like the inca have uh uh have amani in here Ooh, another natural wonder the galapagos islands okay so yeah it uh will provide plus two science to the adjacent tiles i mean there's not much we can do over here however um you know maybe maybe a uh a natural park if we ever get down here i mean it's doubtful but you know it's there our friendship has ended so let's go ahead and declare friendship again very good. Okay, and we'll go ahead and build one of our colossal heads. Very good. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this does. So the Incas are interested in half of our horses, willing to give us gold and open borders. What about Diplo favor? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, um, yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and accept that for now. Keep on their good side. Okay, we just got a plus three era score for our harbor. Fantastic. That should uh, should come in handy here very soon. 
And our galley has pretty much moved all all around uh, the southern coast. There really isn't much going on. Like we can't see in here, but that's that's really no big deal. Um, so yeah, I, I guess we'll just continue moving around and see what else we can get eyes on. Hey, we got another great writer. <laughs> I guess I guess that'll that'll come in use at some point. Actually, we do have the amphitheater now, so we can send at least one of these guys a night there, was, and that's a uh, there. We've got one other slot for a book, so yeah. All right, cool. All right, even though we can't get a good bonus, I think we should go ahead and place a theater square down here uh, for Kingston, and then we should probably also queue up a theater square. So we've got some plus ones over here. Um, it's 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 going to have to be good enough for right now. But we need to use these great writers. And we'll create another great work. Very good. Awesome. All right, so for Ottawa, we're going to go ahead and queue up the mausoleum. That'll give us plus one culture for all coast tiles. And uh, yeah, so that, that'll be... I think that includes these guys, but it definitely includes um, all of this territory here. Another plus one for uh, discovering machinery, which means we can upgrade, we can upgrade our crossbowmen. So let's do that right now. All right, so we can load up aesthetics. That'll give us 100% theater square district adjacency bonuses. That is definitely pretty good. Yeah, I think I think we'll go ahead and do that. We'll, and we'll replace uh, our plus one production in all cities. I think everything else I'm going to leave as is. As far as tech tree stuff goes, we're going to go into construction. That'll allow us to build up some lumber mills. Um, we definitely want to go into apprenticeship so that we can get that industrial zone going. And then probably into stirrups, mostly because it gives us the, uh, the pasture improvement of plus one food. And we do have a few of those. All right. So looking at this barb camp, there is a crossbowman here. I believe there's one down south. And... Um, yeah, our uh, our galley is taking a beating right now, so we need to we need to start moving forward. Okay, so that crossbowman has moved away. Let's uh, try to get some eyes on it, but we can at least start moving in. Uh, we should be able to take this uh, barb camp pretty easily. The World Congress is in session once again. Don't know what to vote for, so we voted for ourselves uh, to get some more gold in our trade routes, as well as another trade route capacity. And then uh, as far as religious states, uh, getting 100% uh, yields, uh, that's what we voted for. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen here? Unmet player, scientific, we lost that. Uh, that's a shame. That is a shame. All right, let's go ahead and attack the barb camp, though, while we wait. And let's just move down slightly to see where this crossbowman is. Uh, and we're moving ours slowly through the forest. Hey, we won. Very good. We we won with our one gold deposit <laughs> in the aid request. So fantastic. That gives us uh, two diplomatic points. Uh, let's go ahead and try to take out this uh, crossbowman. Very good. And I believe there was another one to the south. Uh, for the time being, we're just gonna hopefully uh, not 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 lose our our galley here. Wouldn't be the end of the world if it happened, but you know, would rather would rather not. Okay, we lost our swordsman. No big deal. And actually, we're gonna bring up our galley. I'd rather sacrifice him than than our uh, our horseman. All right, plus one. For, uh, yeah, it looks like we've reached uh, population 10 in Ottawa. Very good. And let's go ahead and try to take these guys out. It'll it'll take some time and we... Oh man, it would suck to lose these guys, but again, wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, we've got a settler ready. So do we want to move south or do we want to move closer to this mountain area? Um, I'm thinking maybe, maybe south for right now. And we've got a builder with three charges, so we'll go ahead and send him down as well. St. John should be okay. 
All right, so we've got four turns left, and we just need one point to get into a normal age. Um, I think we can easily do that by getting suzerainship of uh, Buenos Aires. Um, so that is something we should just go ahead and do. Uh, again, it's not totally uh, <laughs> it's not totally beneficial for us, but we want the point. And there it is. That's the point that we needed. Okay. We met Australia. Very good. That's perfect. We'll go ahead and uh, send a delegation. Wonderful. And what do they got? They got iron and horses the same as us. Uh, not really much, much else to it. All right, Pedro's looking for some horses. We'll give us, uh, we'll give us some gold and open borders, but not diplomatic favor. I mean, I, I need, I need more from you. I feel, Peter. For now, we'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, I'd like more, but it's no big deal if we don't. Got three more turns. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. Very good. And we can move this guy around. And uh, yeah, uh, we've cleared out all the barb camps. It looks like maybe there's one one up here that just popped up. And that's that's no big deal. All right. So one thing that we need to be mindful of is um, they have taken our <laughs> our land right here. So we cannot settle here. So we'll have to we'll have to settle right here um, as well as try to try to get this this bottom coast here. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and settle in place. This will be one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, a nice little five, five-sided triangle. Vancouver, pleasant. Uh, knowing that loyalty might be an issue, uh, I mean, it shouldn't be, but you know, who knows? Who knows what's gonna what's gonna occur? Uh, we'll go ahead and move Victor over into. Uh, Vancouver, just in case we need to defend. Got a great person. All right, we'll go ahead and recruit. Very good. Another great rider. Fantastic. Exactly what we need. And overall, it might be good to put units where we want to make sure that we've got room to settle. So over over in this section, uh, just just to secure it, just to secure it. So we might we might position ourselves there. Uh, getting this spot right here would be would be great too. And we'll go ahead and set up some farms and, yeah, get uh, get Vancouver rolling. But that is going to take us into the Renaissance era. We just unlocked uh, apprenticeship so that we can uh, go ahead and build our industrial zone here soon. This is a slow game in that there's there's nothing you can you can hang your hat on. Like with with um, a domination victory. It's the troops. As soon as you build more troops, it's like you've got tangible things that you can see. You can see those numbers go up, and uh, as far as military strength, that's what you're that's what you're really aiming for. Uh, with culture, it's a lot slower. So we we are actually pretty much caught up with uh, with everyone else that we can see. Uh, currently, Brazil is leading, uh, even uh, against the unmet players, and we are in second place. So. Uh, our culture game is definitely picking up steam, which is which is fantastic. Uh, our diplomacy is rising as well. So um, while we can't really see it on the map, <laughs> uh, things are happening and they're happening really well. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to see how this game progresses. But that's where we'll end. My name is Mighty Beard. It's been a pleasure. And we will play Civilization 6 again very soon. Later.